no intro today. This is going to be a bit of a short one. I have here a gauge cluster from a 2003 Chevrolet Tahoe, but what I'm talking about today should apply to any GM truck based on the GMT 800 platform between 2003 and 2006, like the bigger Suburban, Silverado, or Hummer H2. This gauge cluster suffers from a common problem that all these will eventually face, bad solder joints. I feel like a lot of electronics and vehicles from this era will have issues with this, and random things just stop working. Often though, the fix is usually straightforward. Back to the problem at hand, the one this cluster is suffering from is that the Prindle display doesn't. Illustrated here in the dark, you can see the gauges light up. The Driver Information Center, which has an unfortunate acronym, lights up, but there's no PRNDL. Since the transmission gear selector is mounted to the column, it can be pretty difficult to actually know what gear you've selected, and in the few times I've driven this Tahoe, I've been unsure what gear I'm exactly in, and on more than one occasion have tried to get going in neutral. Without going into detail on how to remove the cluster from the vehicle, naturally, you'll want to do that. Once it's out and somewhere that you can safely solder, you'll need to remove the cluster lens and back. There's no fasteners involved, just a bunch of clips holding it in place. Do keep in mind that you need to remove the needles from the gauge cluster as well. These can be a bit tough to pull out, but they're only held in with friction. Now that the board is free, locate the cluster of resistors just below and to the left of the main connector. This is where the problem lies. As you can see, the solder joints have cracked over time from heat and vibration. The board even has some discoloration to show that it's been getting hot there. To fix our issue, simply reflow a bit of solder over these joints so that they are making a solid connection again. Now that it's repaired, reverse the process, but stop once you've placed in the needles. You'll need to take the cluster back to the truck and align them in addition to seeing if you fix the issue. In my case, it seems to have done the job. Once you've tested it, you can fully reassemble the cluster, making sure to clean off any fingerprints since they'll be under the lens, and then fully reassemble your truck. I intend on having a different video ready this weekend, but time constraints and needing to reshoot some of it has necessitated a delay. Fortunately, this short project fell into my workbench and was a perfect opportunity for some shorter content that isn't completely filler. Usual links in the description, and as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.